What is going on guys? This is Joey Young coming at you an update video finally on the last 60p that I rescaped uh, in the beginning of the year and finally I can give you guys an update on the tank. So on the last update you guys saw I planted a lot of Japan Shigas in the tank and I had a couple Tortinas the, on the left side corner and I had another species of Ryochans in kind of the far back. That species kind of just died off on me. It just didn't transition really well from the previous tank uh, to this new tank. So I went ahead and just scrapped that and just went completely just one species, Japan Shigas here. And it's doing really great. So I'll give you guys an update on the plants and then the new additions in terms of livestock in the tank as well. So as you can see, the Japan Shigas are like multiplying and actually doubling size uh, really well. So over here on the previous video, I actually had a couple of them kind of just uh, planted here. But as you can see, I have a bunch more after I split um, actually a few of those uh, a couple times. So I can try to get a couple of these going over here. So I know a lot of people have been asking um, in terms of when they're available to sell. They should be available pretty soon here. I'm just trying to grow these guys out. They're super slow growers, um, so that's why they're really hard to, to come by. As you can see, like this has been three months, and three months, you know, probably it took me, mm, let me see here, probably something about like that size here to get to maybe about that size, probably in about three months, a little bit more than that. And then from, from something like this, I would split in half, and by splitting, the plant in half you kind of have the risk of it dying off and the other risk of it actually not growing so certain species that euro chuns can't be kind of grown like with a runner it would be kind of forced so when they say four splits that means you actually physically have to cut the plant in half so uh to give you an example i had a plant about this size really really nice and big about you know three inches so i tried something a little different and i probably don't suggest doing this but I took a plant about this size and I cut it into four pieces and with four pieces it kind of like really hinders the plant a lot so example like that plant back here that's kind of like wilting a little bit that plant was about this size and I cut it into four pieces so that plant is kind of dying there I have the other piece right behind this that it looks like it's kind of dying too and then one piece actually stayed alive and it's actually in the far left and I'll show you guys later in a little bit here so I took a really nice healthy plant about this size and tried to split it and you know half of it <laughs> was pretty much dead so I kind of have to start over from you know a small piece. So with that said um, it's really difficult to kind of grow these guys fast and that's why one they're so expensive and two um, not a lot of people grow them obviously because one getting your hands on one um, is already hard enough and these plants are like really super sensitive to just any like transitions or any like condition shift. So for example, um, if I were to buy four of these plants from somebody, most likely half of them would probably melt back completely and die off on me. So already off the bat, you're like, kind of like trying to recover like the money that you kind of lost by buying like four plants. Um, and it might work well and it might not work well for, for a few. You know, for example, if I took all of these Japan Shigas here and I, I literally moved them to another like nice CO2 tank probably half of them would die it's just the way they work it's like they're just super sensitive and you know if it works it works and if it doesn't it, it doesn't that's just the uh, that's just the nature of these plants now what's really interesting about these plants as I split them they kind of grow uh, a little odd sometimes and um, I've noticed that actually when you split them they tend to actually grow a second runner themselves because they're kind of repairing the split that you've done already. And uh, that actually works really well because if you split a plant, it grows an extra runner and you get two plants out of that split, which is pretty sweet. So for example, like this one here, I kind of split, like these ones here I already split and they kind of are a little bit more bushy. This one, I believe was a normal plant that was small. So you kind of see it's a little bit more spiky. Um, it's a little bit more lush and as they grow older they should look kind of more round like this um, once they're more established but as you split them they kind of just look weird off the bat so just FYI if you ever you know get these plants and, and try to split them yourselves probably the next couple months I'll have a couple of these small ones available if anyone's interested um, I do have a list of people waiting already for like a couple months so I'll probably go down that list first to see if they're still interested in buying them and I 
appreciate all of those people that are actually waiting on the list. Um, and I know that you guys are really interested in the plants. And I'm trying my best to actually grow them and split them, as you can see here. Um, it's it's coming along, um, but it's not as fast as you know any other like stem plant. But it's it's moving along pretty well. All right, so I apologize for the tank being like kind of like cloudy hazy. I did a water change today in the tank, so I stirred a couple things up. I moved a couple stems around. Initially, I actually had a bunch of rotella uh, bonsais in the back here, and then I took them all out because I was like, yeah, I want to change it. And I I went to the Wigia whites. And I had a nice roll of those uh, at one point, and then I took those out and went back to these um, <laughs> these bonsais here because I was moving a lot of plants around, uh, especially in my new tank. Uh, I was trying to see where I want to grow them. So now the bonsais are back in this tank, but now like I want to try to grow half of them bonsai and the other half like the, the Guigio white. So uh, I can't really just make a decision in, in what plants I want to grow. I maybe just should just grow. Japan shigas in this tank completely but the only one problem with just growing these types of plant all in the tank is um, there's not a lot of um, plant mass in the tank and there's a lot of highlight there's a lot of you know nutrients going into the tank and the tank would tend to get um, covered in algae just because there's not a lot of plants to consume all of the stuff that's in the tank and normally the algae would just outbreak and take take off so that's why I have these bonsais in the back so they can help with shading uh, eventually once they grow tall enough and also um, help with consuming some of that and blocking some of the light so that um, these Japan shigas can grow healthy and nice. Alright so let's talk about the livestock. Um, you guys see these fish in a lot of tanks and actually I'm surprised because these guys are normally really shy and they actually hide around this piece of big rock here and they're just huddled around here but today they're actually out and about so I'm really happy because you actually can see them. These are Celestial Pearl Danios. I kind of just made a tank completely for them. Uh, initially, I had them in the Mini S, and I had a bunch of them in there, kind of just quarantined because I, I bought a few of them from um, a different vendor, and I just want to make sure that they were all healthy before adding them to this tank. And plus, you know, this, this tank took, you know, about uh, close to a month to cycle, so um, around February, I went ahead and added these guys in. And so far, you know, they're transitioning really well, they're adjusting really well, and they're actually a lot more active than they normally are. Normally, these fish are super shy. They'll kind of like dart around and just kind of hide a lot, but it looks like, you know, they're out and about. I think they're just really hungry. So I'm gonna go ahead and really quickly feed them again, because I already fed them once, but these guys look like they're just hungry all the time. I just dropped in some uh, New Life Spectrum. I normally don't really feed my fish new ice spectrum just one, it's just a little bit more expensive, but I had some in hand from um, from just random purchases, but I um, went ahead and just added that in there, so hopefully they're browsing here, they're eating. So, so far I really like the scape of the tank. Uh, the one problem I'm still dealing with this tank specifically is just algae. Um, I think it's just due to the light, to be honest. The 88 light that I'm running on here, it doesn't really have a dimmer or some sort of like brightness control it's just always a hundred percent also just because the tank is much much like closer to the light um, it's just more prone to algae outbreaks if, if you don't have enough plant load in the tank now I noticed that a lot of people ask me like you know oh you know why did you put the substrate so deep I agree I, I would have done a lower substrate uh, if I didn't decide to grow these types of plant as you can see here this is just a little baby one and as you can see the roots here, it went all the way down to just like half of the substrate. So in the previous build, I already had something similar to this. And if you can imagine the fully grown Japan Shigas on the far right, if you ever pull one up that's that big, you know, the roots are like super deep, you know. So that's the main purpose why I made the substrate so deep. It's just because of these plants. They're really heavy in the roots and it likes, you know, to grab a bunch of substrate. So I made it deep on purpose. All right guys, um, and that's it. Uh, sorry I have to kind of like end it kind of fast here because my battery is kind of dying <laughs> on my camera here and I didn't really charge my backup battery. So I'm gonna have to kind of end it here. So if you guys have any questions on the tank um, and if you're interested in the Japan Shigas, uh, let me know uh, in the comments below or PM me. Um, I'll probably let you guys know probably maybe Facebook or another video once they're available. And if the wait list is kind of, you know, all completed and done, you know, you guys can probably hop on and, and grab some of these plants. All right, guys, until next time, guys, peace.